Revelation 1778, from the 16th of January 1941. Involvement of the beings in the beyond in the teachings. Regulated instruction in the spiritual sphere provides people on earth as well as the souls in the beyond with comprehensive knowledge, which is also necessary if the being wants to fulfill the task given to it as soon as it has entered the kingdom of the beyond, for great work has to be done and this mostly applies to souls which are ignorant but not unwilling to hear the word of God, thus the knowledge they lack and for which they are receptive will now be supplied to them. If they desire clarification it will be given to them immediately, and every answer will stimulate, them into eager reflection, and only rarely, and that in cases of blatant rejection. Do the souls in the beyond pay no attention to what is given to them, and then these souls will not stay in the vicinity of giving beings of light either but they will be banished to a place where the light giving keeps away where there is therefore profound darkness and correspondingly few knowing beings. These souls can spend endless times there if the desire for knowledge does not stir in them. But the souls who are constantly taught by beings of light do not leave these beings alone in distress. They seek them out and give them an account of the working of loving beings on people on earth and the souls in the beyond and such descriptions can cause the ignorant beings to attend an instruction. They then look at the process with still worldly feelings, they see that there are connections between earth and the beyond, and since they themselves are still very attached to earthly things they believe that they can likewise establish the connection with their loved ones. And this causes them to return time and again to the place of instruction and thus they are also witnesses of how illuminated the recipient of messages from the beyond is during the time of receiving them and how beneficially the emanation of light is felt by the surrounding beings, that is, how happy the souls in the beyond participate in every instruction of the earthly child because their knowledge is thereby increased and they can make countless even poorer souls happy again with this knowledge. Only he who stands in knowledge can fulfill the task given to him, for ignorant beings cannot give anything themselves, yet only the giving being will be able to redeem itself. But again, only spiritual possessions can be passed on, and therefore they first have to become the being's property, thus they have to be willingly accepted by the being so that they can be distributed. For the latter is a service in love by which the being redeems itself. Therefore, anyone who receives much can distribute much, and therefore the souls in the beyond are tireless listeners to all instructions which take place from the beyond to earth, and knowledge is imparted which, again, is the basis for the activity of love, for this is the activity of love, both on earth as well as in the beyond that this knowledge is spread so that light will shine wherever the beings are lovingly active for each other. Amen.